Hi, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Rich Star Insider. We're going to talk about 20,000 Bitcoins. If this is your first time to Rich Star Insider, we talk about stock investing, real estate investing, crypto trading. So if you want to make more money, you can subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out any of our videos. Get free stocks, cryptos, and audio books in the description comment at the end of the video. So today we're going to talk about why Bitcoin could go lower and Bitcoin futures and spot prices and we're gonna answer some of the great questions asked by the audience so Bitcoin price right now is 35,503 so it used to be uh, 33,000 on June 8 remember Bitcoin has been fluctuated between 31,000 and 42,000 so that those price points are really really important so if Bitcoin goes lower than 30,000 we could be seeing 20,000 Bitcoin so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for the Bitcoin to go higher than 42,000 so 42,000 is really really important so once it goes above 42,000 we're gonna be seeing uh, 50,000 and 60,000 Bitcoin so but there has to be uh, a few days a few weeks to hold that 42,000 price point so it's, it's really important so the same for Ethereum, it has been fluctuating between 2000 and 3000. So I really like to see uh, over 3000. So, but it could go lower than 2000. Then we could be depending on the price action of the Bitcoin because Bitcoin is like the main you know, cryptocurrency. So, Ethereum currency is now $54. So, it used to be over $100, you know, all time high. Dogecoin is 31, 31 cents. It used to be over 70, 75 cents as well. So we're gonna go look at the Bitcoin news. So more pain coming to Bitcoin and crypto markets. So let's see what he says. So Spider Group said that Bitcoin, we, the crypto markets are in, in a bear market. And so the worst situ situation, so we could see 20% to 30% down from here so which is uh, I would say it's now 35,000 so we are talking about around 30,000 so if it's 40,000 we are talking about 20,000 Bitcoin so that's what he, he said but he they also said it's not all there could be two possibilities so we could be this could be the temporary dip in the market you know for the bull market because even the bull market has a corrections so that's very natural so if it's a temporary corrections um, during the big bull market so we could possibly see three to five times uh, return realized within six to nine months you know so that's there are two possibilities so they cannot decide uh, is, is it bear or is it bull you can just do that you you have to say either bull or either either bear but of course you know Bitcoin and cryptocurrency there are a lot of um, factors a lot of push and pulls going on you know they are, they are always bad they are also bulls to the Bitcoin so so I'm, I'm gonna show you there are, the, there are more reason why the Bitcoin could be 20,000 another thing is an IMF IMF is an international monetary funds so once of the risk after El Salvador adopts Bitcoin as a legal tenor so le Bitcoin as a legal tenor has a very significant um, for the whole world because if El Salvador is the first one to do it there will be more countries that's following uh, El Salvador so the reason why they do is because there are a lot of people who are who do, doesn't have who don't have the access to banking system so because they recognize Bitcoin as a legal tender so anybody can transfer the money the Bitcoin into uh, into the El Salvador bank they have to recognize it they have to accept it so they have to accept it so that's one good thing so for the Bitcoin, it's, it's a good news for Bitcoin. But I, I am at once about the Bitcoin because Bitcoin is so volatile. Not everybody knows how to use Bitcoin. You know, if Bitcoin prices drop, people could, you know, if they don't have any, any knowledge, if they, if they don't want to hold, they're gonna start selling. You know, all these people at at Salvador, they could lose money for that. So that's why they, the, the IMF won. Uh, and another reason is IMF wants to have control over the countries. So remember, so uh, El Salvador is one is among the poorest in the Central America. So uh, IMF is going to meet El Salvador president 
about the Buddha's credit programs because they want to learn money. If a lot of the countries adopt cryptocurrency, so the World Bank and IMF Bank, they're not gonna have control over these countries. Remember, so they 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 have their own rules. If if they lend out the monies, they have a uh, some control over the country. So that uh, the cryptocurrency uh, advocates said that hey, these are the reason why they are saying they don't want cryptocurrency to succeed. So that's another reason. And uh, SEC also uh, chairman wants that there could be more re regulation needed for the cryptocurrency. So all these uh, bad news are coming out almost at the same time. You know, uh, Treasury uh, Janet Yellen talking about cryptocurrency. Also, uh, Elon Musk said uh, cryptocurrency. You know, Bitcoin use so much energy. All of these bad news are coming together, so there could be a possibility of twenty thousand Bitcoin. So it's very normal part of it. So in two thousand eighteen, the the drop it, it was more than fifty percent drop in two thousand eighteen. So uh, th this I like this one. I like this uh, article. JB Walker bring this Bitcoin slide. Bitcoin could go down more. Why? Because the there's a, there's spot price and there's future price. You know, if the institutions, the billionaires, um, big investor believe that Bitcoin price is gonna go higher, that if they are future, they gonna buy higher, they gonna pay higher future price than spot. So, but right now we are seeing higher spot price than um, the futures. So, so the spot price is price is higher than futures. So that's that's really bad. That's called bad validation. When the bad validation happened, the last time it happened, it was in two thousand eighteen. So the Bitcoin price crash happened, occurred. So you, cryptocurrency fall nearly eighty percent, nearly eighty percent. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. And another Bitcoin user, there are two indicators. Another one is Bitcoin dominance in the market. Bitcoin dominance in the market is around forty percent right now. So it used to be seventy percent. It used to be seventy percent. Uh, in January, um, uh, so look at this one. Yeah, seventy percent January to forty two percent today. So if we really want to see the bull market coming, Bitcoin has to go higher than fifty percent market dominance. So if it's Bitcoin dominance falls, then all the other all cryptocurrency gonna fall. So that's really, that's really really important. So we're gonna go and talk talk about uh this right now the. One of the audience member asked, "Hey, when can ETC go up again? Because he put fifteen thousand at one hundred and twenty dollars. So ETC is now fifty four dollars. So so basically, he lost more than fifty percent. You know. So if if you have more than three hundred thousand in investment, fifteen thousand is nothing really. I mean, you know. But if you only have thirty thousand, that's a lot. That's very very risky. Even so, even if you had." Three hundred thousand in investment, you know you should not put all the, you know fifty fifteen thousand in only one cryptocurrency, so which is Ethereum Classic, uh, because if you if you need you're gonna need the money in the next uh three months or four months you cannot wait to hold, you might want to think about selling some, but I'm not a financial advisor, and. Another thing is that I'm not gonna sell my cryptocurrency. I'm I've been waiting to buy. You know, I I wish that Bitcoin close to twenty thousand, so so that I can buy more. I only buy with money that you can afford to lose, that you don't have to use it. So that's that's very very important. So you never never want to buy the money that you are gonna need. And uh, if you are somebody who gonna lose sleep over losing money, so I uh, cut you know cut down investment cryptocurrency because they are very very volatile so uh, Ethereum classes uh, could be very volatile as well okay, so yeah and what do you do if your cryptocurrency are red it really depends uh, if, if it's a big market cap cryptocurrency like Bitcoin Ethereum I, I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna be worried about it because I know that these are not gonna go away these stay gonna stay is it is this uh, in the near future so but if your cryptocurrency is like very very small market cap nobody knows about it so they could go this they, they, could, they could disappear you know it's, it's very normal just like you know, invest in stock Apple, Amazon, Google they are really big blue chip company 
So I'm not going to be worried. They're not going to disappear tomorrow. But if it's a very small company, they could go bankrupt. It's the same way with, with cryptocurrency. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to get free stocks and cryptocurrency in the description. And you can get free audio books as well. And you can switch to $50 a month for mobile plan if you want to save money and if you want to invest more in cryptocurrency. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye.